Hello, welcome back. We have got a pile of black sea bass from a trip we took yesterday with a four man limit of black sea bass we got easily offshore. We're going to show you guys how we clean black sea bass here fast and easy for really good, clean, boneless, skinless fillet. Hit that subscribe button down there, give me that thumbs up, like button, and don't forget that bell icon down there. Check this out. All right, we're going to show you everything that we use in this video and the first thing I'm going to tell you is if you don't have one of these cut resistant gloves, get you one. I'll put a link to this in the description below and also, also from my favorite, Mr. Twister Electric Fisherman Electric Knife. This electric knife makes this chore a lot faster and a whole lot easier. And of course there'll be a link to the knife in the description below too. Now sea bass are pretty easy fish. They're not real bony but they do have some bones in them that you need to get out if you want a boneless fillet. So what I like to do is start right behind the gills, take the knife on an angle kind of towards the head, run it down to the spine. Now what you want to do is kind of flatten this blade out and cut the ribs and cut right along the spine all the way to the tail of the fish. Like that. The knife goes through the ribs real easy. This takes you all the way to those lateral bones and gets you a real good clean fillet. Now what you're going to do is use the knife to separate the skin from the meat. Start at the end of the fillet with about a 30 degree angle and a little downward pressure on the blade. The blade's going to do the work. And that fillet is right off of that skin. Look how close that is. Doesn't get much better than that. Flip it over and do the other side. It helps if you do it near the edge of your board and I've elevated this board a little bit to make it a little bit easier so you're not having a blade up on a weird angle like this. And that's done. Now if you get some of these little bones up here at the top where the fin is, you can just cut those off either with the electric or regular knife, it doesn't matter. Then you take your electric knife and just cut the ribs out. Now those are not the only bones on a black sea bass. To get a boneless fillet, if you look real close right here, these are bones that come out, little pin bones all the way to the outer edge of this fillet. They only go down part way and you can feel them pretty good. So what I like to do is take a regular knife and cut those out of there. You don't lose much meat and you end up with a truly boneless fillet by doing that. There you go. Now that fillet doesn't have a bone in it. When you're feeling them Look at that right there. The fillet does have a bone in it. It's right there. We missed one. So it's real easy. If you miss one to feel it, just feel for it. A lot of people don't like bones in their fish. And quite honestly, that's the reason a lot of people don't like fish. So get the bones out. When you're done, into the ice water. Now I'll show you how quick this can be. Yep. Nope. 
just follow those bones. Bone the skinless. Now here's a tip to speed things up. Do this like an assembly line. Do a bunch of fillets, fillet the fish first, then come back and cut out the ribs and those pin bones. So you can see that part goes pretty quickly. Once you get a bunch of fillets together, I'll take a knife, cut the ribs out with the electric. Same thing, kind of an assembly line process. If you have a lot of sea bass to do, this is really going to be a lifesaver. Because these things are 15 per person here in Virginia. And you end up with a lot, like we brought 30 home, me and Evan, from our trip yesterday. There's a lot of fish to clean, it's a lot of work. Need to speed this thing along. All right, then I'm gonna take the regular knife and just clean up the fillets, get rid of any of the other bones or stuff on there that I don't want, and cut those pin bones out, like we talked about. Let me see, once you get the idea of the angle of these bones and where they're at, it's real easy just to cut them right out of there. It goes pretty quick. It goes quicker if you have some help. You can have one guy filleting and one guy doing the last bit of the boning. He'd be done a whole lot faster even. So as you saw, I got a lot of work to do. Link to the Mr. Twister Electric Fisherman Fillet Knife and the cup resistant glove is in the description below. Y'all get those. If you fish for these kinds of fish, this is going to make life cleaning these things up a whole lot easier. Hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. Give me that thumbs up like button and don't forget that bell icon down there so you don't miss any videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.